Ten toes, that's my MO. What it do, what it do, man. We back in this thing. Y'all hear the birds, man? It's a good morning. Definitely a good morning. I'm out here doing my pre-trip. Uh, getting ready for the day. I'm always checking this latch now. Since I had issues with it last time. My uh, lock is down. I've already been around. Check the tires. Check my took my pictures from a pre-trip. Uh, so we about ready to rock and roll. I gotta clean my engine bay off soon. Looks like I'm about to overfill this. Sun came out of the steel field. That's the line. That line over here. But old girl still, still pushing on, man. So we got a pretty short day today. I got three cars to do, three vehicles. Uh, should be making 30 plus six should be making like 8 30 on three vehicles all local too so let me see let me see what time it is actually Eight thirty-four. so it's 8 34 right now i'm gonna knock these three out and see what time i can get done what time i get home and uh bring y'all along for the ride as usual and uh, that's about it, man. I got my snacks, did my pre-trip, so we ready to rock. Uh, first vehicle is about 30 minutes away. Actually, let me hook my phone up. Hold on a second. Hook my phone up, it'll pop up on the screen, and I'll show y'all. I love the Android Auto, man. Gotta have it. Got to have it. Right. 34 minutes 26 miles so i'll check back in with y'all when i get to that vehicle all right y'all we're here picking up this uh toyota over there but look the other pedal for later in the day got canceled so that knocks off 115 off the board so now it should be six plus 115 we're gonna have a 715 dollars day with two cars if i don't find nothing else so i got the ramps out and uh we gotta load up this toyota over here so stand by for that Got that one loaded. It is 9.50. Then turn right onto East Cordes Place. It's 9.50. I got 35 minutes, 24 miles until I get to the auction. Um, this one's gonna pay. It, it base rate is 110. The mileage will probably push it up somewhere close to 117, something like that, with the fuel surcharge. So we got this one. Then we got the next one, which is paying 600. Um, and it's not very far. It's actually in Covington where Big Z lives. So the crazy thing about the one that got canceled is that was the last one. That was the one I was getting on my way back from the Big Toe, which is the next one. Um, so luckily, uh, I didn't really miss out or it didn't really change my uh, my route. It was the last thing I was gonna pick up. But I did lose out on, it's gonna be about 117 for that one too because it was 23 miles from pickup to auction. So basically I was gonna have 117 117 which is what 234 and then 600 so you're talking 834 so now you subtract that but what that means is now i got more time so if i find something after i drop off the next one i, I have more time to get it um but it wouldn't have been it probably wouldn't have been as good as that one because that was a short one that was paying 117 so we are headed to the auction um like i said 35 miles and i'm gonna hit these boards and see if i find anything else because it's early it's 
not even 10 o'clock and uh i got my day going pretty well so far and we'll see what we can come up with that's my guy again martin enterprise towing boy that's a hell of a setup so it got a bit cummins in it he been he been coaching me on some stuff to look for in a truck anyway we out here at the auction uh i gotta run ahead and run this title in the inside and this one runs so i might drop the ramps and get it off myself but this is my only time coming here today so i may just let, let the loader get it off i got a pretty good relationship with the loader guy but uh anyway let me run in here and i'll be right back man buddy really trying to fit Really trying to fit that big ass truck on the back on that little bitty platform right there. Holy cow. Woo. I don't know if I could do that. That ain't enough. I watched them load uh, the last four. The black truck, the black car, the red car on the bottom, and the blue car. Matter of fact, and the black car on the bottom. So I, I watched them load those five. So I'm gonna let him get this one off. I just been enjoying the show. It'll give us a few minutes and he'll be snatching mine off and I'll be up out of here. Now you get it from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> alright y'all you got it off everything's good but hey man listen don't be this guy don't be that guy right there man I ain't gonna zoom in on him but don't be that guy he just walked up to the loader guy complaining that he been out here for an hour and a half two hours the loader has a list man if y'all don't know loader goes down a list he literally has a list of cars in front of him and that's what he that's what he brings up so if people got here before you cause you gotta wait that's just how it is. Luckily, I don't really pick up from here. I just drop off. So, that's what I like. But if I ever did pick up, I would know. I gotta wait. Some of these places let you set up an appointment, like Coparts. You can get the app and set up an appointment. But uh, I don't know if IAA does that. I don't think they do. So, you just gotta wait, man. But don't take it out on the loader, man. You gotta have a good relationship with the loader. I got a very good relationship with the, with the loader. So... That's my little tip for the day, man. Hey, we off to Covington to get the next vehicle. Check in with y'all when we get there. All right, the bill has been paid. Ooh wee. Damn. I say it runs. It's full of junk. Holy cow. Damn, G. Wow. Let's start it up. This is sketchy. Very sketchy. Got my race ramps out. Guess it, man. I'm just gonna guess it, y'all. Here we go. Oh, 
we go. Hey, that's awful. She got her ass tore up from the back. <laughs> well, they said the girl drove it up here, so at least she was all right. Didn't get hurt bad. All right, we are an hour and a half. I gotta let this up, clean up, and we are an hour and a half if I run straight to where this vehicle goes. This is the one that's paying 600. Uh, I may get me some lunch or something, but I'm not sure. I gotta see what's around. But uh, regardless, I'll check back in with y'all one way or another. All right, y'all, we're gonna try a new view today, man. I'm gonna have y'all behind the shoulder and see if y'all can uh, get you a nice view in. I'm trying to see. Trying to figure out what's uh what's to eat. That's all I'm trying to do right now. Money through the pandemic when you were just stuck in the house. Do the bus down child. Look coming your mouth. Do it. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep Alright, let's see. That little Felix place. Let's see if it's on the way. I don't know if it is. It actually is. Wow. This might be a short trip then, people. Little Phillies is on the way. This ELD is a little off. The internet in my truck ain't quite working right now. So normally I have this hooked to my phone, but my phone is ultimately the one that uh, that uh, does it right. I don't actually know which way. It wants me to go this way. Let's see. Let's see if this is right. Continue on Hazel Road northeast for half a mile. I tried to hold it from that, uh, mount it from that damn TV right there, but it ain't gonna do right. We tried it, it didn't work. Gotta come up with something else. Maybe get a gorilla, uh, right gorilla grip thing Boulevard. and grip it up there some kind of way. We'll see. Anyway, I'm uh, be pulling around the corner, making this right two minutes away from the uh, little Philly spot that got the good Philly cheese steak. And wings and such. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Just go around, but the next right onto industrial it's 12, 13, so I might as well eat, then go deliver this car, and uh, we're gonna call it a day at that point. So uh, yeah, it's going well. Right now we're looking at uh, six, seven hundred and twenty dollar day, roughly. I gotta get in there and check and see exactly how much that fuel surcharge was, but. Um, I know it's going to be in that area, about 120 for the last one. Then turn left. And uh, man, I don't know where I want to park. Park on this side. 120 for the last one, and then uh, 600 for this main one that we're running right now. So we're going to get to it. Catch up with y'all in a little bit. Well, damn. I guess I won't be eating here today. Closed for summer vacation. I'll be damned. The sign says the same thing. Golly, man. I don't know what else is. I have to see what else I'm going to pass. I'm going to probably go and knock the trip out here. I might just eat when I get home. Hell. All right. We're out here. Got to get some diesel. It's 1.22 p.m. We are 35 minutes from drop off. I still ain't ate yet, too, so I got to eat. Got the Taco Bell over there, but I ain't feeling that. Bojangles across the street. Pop, that's the worst Popeyes in Georgia, I believe. It might be in the whole, hell, it might be in the whole United States, maybe. 
Uh, we got a Wendy's over there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want any of that stuff. So we'll see. This thing was on E. Probably take. 120, I would say. Probably about 120. Because I didn't have very much. Didn't have very much to go. I just gave a dude my car. It had a Ford Dooley that was parked right there. He had some questions about the hauling and all that. Talked to him for a few minutes. And, uh, share some guidance and knowledge and whatnot. You know how it go. I read something that uh, Quan sent me this article about fueling up. It said fuel up in the morning and always use the lowest setting on the nozzle. Something about in the morning like it's uh, denser or something, I, I don't know. So I've been trying to see. Now instead of putting it on fast, I just put it on that lowest setting and just let it, uh, let it fill itself up. So. Looking like we're gonna be about right, man. I think it's gonna be about 120. Hell, at 531 gallon, my day be higher than that. Hey, y'all been keeping up with the videos, man? Tell me what y'all think I should buy next, man. I got a uh, rollback tow truck is on the list. Day cab and, and, and trailer is on the list. Dump truck is on the list. I can make money with all of them, man. I, I'm just trying to figure out which one benefits us immediately, you know? I'm leaning day cab and, and the trailer because Quan can get a CDL with it, so I don't know. But, man, a tow truck, that would make, that would be a game changer right there. That would absolutely be a game changer. One twenty-three eighty-eight. Let's see if I can fill it up a little bit. Track the mileage for the IFTA mileage reports and whatnot. All right, man, let's go get this thing delivered and find something to eat. Gotta get it off myself, man. The loader ain't nowhere to be found. Been waiting out here 10 minutes. Sometimes you just gotta do it yourself, man. I waited 10 minutes. Cause I ain't got nothing else to do. I got here right at two o'clock. Exactly at two o'clock. <laughs> now you coming. Yeah, I don't know, but it took it off now. Not the normal loader guy. I don't know what they got going on. All right, that's it, man. Uh, I decided to go on and drop it off, and now I'm finna head back towards the house. Um, I was working on a load, picking up nearby, and Royston to go down to Savannah, 
because I got a, a Ram 3500 I got to pick up at the port in Brunswick. They're paying $400. Paying $400 right now, $1.73 a mile. It won't focus, but I'm trying to get them up to like five fifty. I got to go that way, but I still don't haul it. If it ain't if it ain't enough for my liking, I still won't haul it, even if it's going that way. So if it ain't $2 a mile, or in this case, I asked for five fifty. they said, hold on, they'll check and get back with me. And, uh, but I'm in the area now. Like Royston is like 10 miles away. So they need to let me know something. I'll go ahead and grab that thing and deliver it on Friday. But uh, yeah, that's it, man, for now. I'm finna head back towards the house, find something to eat, and uh, we're gonna check back in with y'all later. But total for today ended up being 717. So that first vehicle was 117. That vehicle right there was 600. So that's 717 on two vehicles. Uh, got here at two o'clock, unloaded at 215. So light work, light work. Like I always say, if I could have it like this every day, I would sure would love it. I'd take it that way. That's it, man. We're going to holler y'all at home. Peace. All right, y'all. That worked about as good as it could work. Look at that bad boy right there. I was about nine minutes from this thing when I dropped that other vehicle off. There's an MSRP on this sucker. 78. 78,915 but uh yeah this is about 35 minutes from the house but I was literally right here man I was right here and I gotta go that way to pick up a Ram 3500 on uh Friday that Ram is paying $800 to go 168 miles so this is going down for I ended up getting it for 475 so you had it listed for 400 I talked him up to 475 divided by the mileage. It's going 214 miles. Uh, so it ends up being $2.21 a mile, which actually it's even better because I'm taking it home and delivering it uh, Friday. So really from the house, it's even closer. And I was going home anyway, of course. I go home every day. And uh, But I was right beside this thing at the last drop off I just dropped off. So I'm going to get it loaded and uh got to be super super careful with that bad boy but uh we're gonna get it done so let me uh load it up and uh, get this thing to the house